Welcome back. It's the price some people pay for warm spring weather. Itchy eyes and runny noses. CTV's Kevin Chirac has more on the surge of spring allergy season and how climate change could be playing a role. Cottonwood fluff fills the Burnaby air. There's some more in East Van. It's kind of like it's snowing. A sign that springtime allergy season is in full swing. I get itchy eyes, sniffling, sneezing. Stuffy nose, um, kind of a headache. There you go. Even Bailey has it <laughs> rough. She got red eye, um, eye discharge. At this pharmacy, allergy meds are the top seller. So we've been seeing a lot more people coming in looking for allergy recommendations. Definitely seen a bigger uptake in the past few weeks. So this is the pollen counter. Maureen Sangera is a pollen collector with Aerobiology Research Labs. She traps, then sends the samples to Ottawa for analysis. This year, actually, you're, it hasn't been that bad. In Vancouver and across most of BC, the pollen risk levels and allergy outlook remains moderate. Comparatively speaking to Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, you're running at about half the pollen levels. But a concerning trend has emerged through the years. We have close to 30 years of data, and what it's showing is continuously we're seeing a rise in overall pollen levels across Canada. And one group of doctors believe it's no coincidence. I mean, climate change is a driver of worsening allergies uh, in the population overall. Uh, we're getting more warm weather. Uh, spring is coming earlier, and so allergy season is longer. She adds that air pollution by fossil fuels isn't helping the cause. Meanwhile, the cottonwood fluff should be gone within a few weeks, just as grass allergy season picks up steam. Kevin Chirac, CTV News, Vancouver.